Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Hello and welcome back to the channel. Today we find ourselves in Milwaukee, Wisconsin, in the middle of a Walmart parking lot, where we find Cartnark antagonizing customers. Only this time, he bites off more than he could possibly chew. So, let's sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Alright, Nark it's here. <gasps> no! Cart return, obviously, where we just are. One, two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, twenty steps. Wee wee! Is that where the cart goes? Cart return? You just left your car in the middle of the spot! First of all, Walmart employs people called cart pushers to push the carts anywhere back to the cart corrals in the building for customers to reuse. So what business is it of yours that they are all around the parking lot anyway? Then there's the matter of customer experience. I'm sure if the word spreads that somebody's chasing them around the parking lot at telling them to put carts back, I am sure that's going to affect business there. Because a bad experience at any store can dissuade a customer from ever coming back and spending their money at that location. You don't want to be that, those people, do you? No, you don't! It's a bad thing. Alright, I'm giving you a Lazy Bones Shuriken Magnet, which are pretty cool and sweet. Ah, it didn't stick. But that's the whole point, is that... Well, I'm going to get you there in the rear here, then. There we go. Um, yeah, those, those hoods are oftentimes aluminum. Uh, let's see if they're gonna figure out where I, where I put it. Uh oh, she has backup. You may want to think about leaving. They, uh, the cart's actually right. The cart's right back here. Actually, you don't want to be that couple that leaves a cart blocking. Oh, see how well, well those things fly. Well, I got more just in case. Bro, don't put nothing else on this car. Do you understand the principle, though? Okay, I get it, but don't put anything else now, on this car. Now, I tell you That's what. very rude. She asked But you know what's ruder? To she leave your card out. But I asked... Somebody else a job. No, it's not. That's no, it's not, job. sir. That's... I take it you've never worked at Walmart. I have, and I know that they employ card pushers. Blocking the spot for somebody else. Oh my god, dude. Look at how many spots are available in that parking lot. Leave it be. No, sir. They, they get it from the... Why, why do they have the cart return, sir? I'm putting it back on. If you don't mind, can you show me the where it says the customer has to return the cart back to the cart corral? Is there a law or policy that dictates that? Oh, let's see if I'll fall for the fake out. Fall for the fake out, yes. Now, sir, why do they have the cart returns? If you want attention, there's a lot of other people here. Go bother them. They, I will if they don't take their carts back, obviously. Off of my car. Madam, do you understand the point? Get it off of my car. That's private property. You know what's private property too? If people, if, do not put that on my car. Do not? Got you. Uh, now look, ma'am, please, please, pretty please. When your cart hits somebody else's car, that's their private property. Good toss, by get the way. Get out of my car. I'm not in your car. But you know what's the problem? People get sued over loose carts all the time. Uh-huh. That's damage to their car. Uh-huh. And you know you're supposed to take the carts back, right? That's somebody's job. No, it's... There's it, somebody sir, here that gets paid to do that. But they get paid to take that from the cart return. You know, in 10 years of working for Walmart, I never once heard a cart pusher bitch about uh, carts being all over the place. Though I have heard them bitch about soiled diapers laying all over the place. Can you start a movement about that? I think that would be immensely more beneficial to the world if we stopped dumping our diapers in the Walmart parking lots. Okay, so, okay, I understand that. I, okay, say I understand what you're saying, right? Okay, good. Don't put anything else on this car. But otherwise you guys wouldn't have... Period, though. I'm saying, that's what I'm saying. But I understand what you're saying, but do you understand what I'm saying? Don't put nothing else on this car. As soon as you take your cart back, I will... Did you hear what I said? Sir, but Did you... Did you understand what I said? I, I get that. Then take your cart back. See, I don't think you understand what I said. I think you understand me fine. Put something else on this car. Okay, I... It, I dare you. Put another one of them on this car. What's the dare for? Put another one of those on this car. Like, will you give me... Put another one on the car. $5? Oh, I'd pay $5 to see him put you in your place. This is the wrong fucking day. Go do something else. Go bother somebody Every else, Every day is the right day. about a cart. Right. Get which, the fuck out of here, man. A cart, which is the... What's that? Let's go. Want that shit. Want what? You 
He gonna get what you looking for. He's gone. Madam. Because every time he walks away, you keep talking. Right, because do you guys do you guys know what happened? Monday, go get Jackson's car. Get out of no. That's not my hold on. One second. You don't want it. Because they You don't want it. Don't want what? What are you talking about? Man, you fell for the fake out, by the way. Yeah. Who are you people, by the way? These people are the general public and they are getting tired of your bullshit. Who are you? Police well, That's sir, what I'm telling you. Now, go sir, ahead. what did he do? What did he do? You need to go ahead and sir, go. You sir, sir, you, you, haven't, you don't even know what happened. Go, let, go ahead and tell me. Go ahead. Madam, do you know what happened? No, there ain't no madam. And I don't give a it does matter what exactly. You don't get... You, you just kept coming at him. Because they left their card out. Oh, fudge. Okay. Well, hold on. Yeah, get away. <sighs> this is the thing with these Lazy Bones sympathizers and crackheads. Crackhead is not a term you want to be throwing around lightly. You don't even know who these people are. Uh, they, two people that have no idea what's going on see the same thing. Because Obviously. you didn't see the whole thing, madam. You saw the end result, and now you just jumped in because you don't know what's going on, and you're clearly an ignorant person. Now, sir, let me talk real quick. Can we have a conversation? Can we have a conversation? Back off. So, sir, back off. I'm a, I'm, I'm a polite guy. You're talking to me and I want you talking to me. Sir, what is... Do you not know how to have a... a you to jail back, I'm asking so when I, when I when I say... Off, sir, sir not, I'm not near you, number one. Off, I'm not approaching you. Because of the cart. Are you kidding me? Right. Exactly. Are you fucking kidding me? Now, if a you, shopping cart. Right. Broke off. What happens when this cart rolls and hits that car? Well, what happens if, you know what? I walked out on the street and I get hit by a bus. Shit happens. <laughs> no, no, that is absolutely not. If you get hit by a bus, that's a problem. If this car gets hit by this car, oh, the K word, that's really seeping out of the, uh, into the uh, common usage. Oh, so the contextual use of the word Karen really bothers you, huh? Somebody's got a lot of hangups. Listen, sir, I wish people would have a polite conversation is what I wish. No, a conversation goes two ways where both parties can reach a mutual beneficial decision-making process. You want things done your way. Sir, you, that's the problem is you, 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 you hear people, but you don't want to listen. You don't want to have a conversation. The thing it is is that you want, you want to do your YouTube or whatever you want to do. Yes, sir, I do. I want to teach people a lesson. Oh, so you want to teach. You want to be a teacher. Can you tell me the six levels of Bloom's taxonomy which teachers are required to know? Go do it up there. I do it everywhere. Go do it up there. I do, but you inter you introduced and interjected yourself into the situation. Go ahead and do it up there then, sir. I do it everywhere, sir. I know you do. So you enjoy yourself and have a blessed life. I enjoy myself when people take their cards back is what I do. They, oh, I swear to God, there's like... At what point... I enjoy it when people take their cards back. You take your cart back? See, you did. You did, because you're a responsible person. People, this is uh, the, the 50th way that people try to deflect. First, they yell over you. They won't talk about things. Then, thank you, sir, for doing the right thing. I appreciate that. Except when you want jump in when lazy bones are getting taken care of. You, you kind of inter you interject yourself unnecessarily there. And on the wrong side, you're on the wrong side. You, you just said you did the right thing. I did the right thing, but you did the wrong thing by confront, confront. He is right about that. You're doing it the wrong way. Confrontational methods never really work. Instead, you should try a um, different approach. But we all know you're doing this for clicks and views on YouTube. Then what am I supposed to do? Just let them go? No, you ain't supposed to confront them. No then, how, then how are they going to learn? How, how are they going to learn if I don't That's ask wrong. them to do it? You go in and, and tell your alderman or something like that, sir. You don't come My up. alderman? No, all I'm saying is that. If sir, we don't... Should, you shouldn't confront people, okay? Yes, I should, because no, that's the problem. Uh, because when we don't ask our neighbor... You need to confront people, you need to confront people and tell, you know, and try to, you know, help them. I did, you know, and they blew me off. Said, be, be people. Go down to the homeless shelter. Is that people. what you did this morning? You fed people no, up? No, you did didn't. No, you didn't, sir. I did that. No, you did. You're a liar. I did. Okay, then why aren't you right now feeding them? Why didn't you do why you have a nice truck? Why didn't you donate half of what you paid that truck to the homeless I shelter? I do, I'm a social worker, sir. I thought you were a cop. You just said you were a police officer. I did? Uh, earlier. Oh uh, really? You heard that? Who are you? Where am I? I'm the police officer. It's on camera, actually. Did you hear it though? Yes. Alright, 
right to be. So if you heard that, that means you shouldn't be, you should have heard people leave me alone, right? But they didn't hear me when I said return your card. Wait, are you a cop or a social worker? Or none of the above? Whether the guy is a cop or social worker is neither here nor there. He may have lied about one issue, but he is right on about you. You chase people down, you antagonize them by throwing magnets on their vehicles, which can cause scratches that people may not want to have on their vehicles. You claim you want to teach people the proper way, but you employ none of the methods that a teacher would use, such as hand over hand. You should try that with the female. Or even the basic I do, you do, we do method. Well, that wraps it up here, folks. Once again, Gartnark proves what an insufferable moron he is. So until next time, I'll see you on the next video. Don't forget to rate, comment, share, and subscribe. And have a good day, good night, or whatever.